Shyness is hardly uncommon. Just about every kid experiences a paralyzing moment during show or tell, a show and tell, or meeting someone new. But imagine a child so stricken with fear she goes without speaking for an entire school year. You're about to meet two such children, their parents desperate for help, and one man who says he can cure them with a technique that just might work for anyone with a severe phobia. Here's ABC's Juju Chang. Jake Semmel has trapped himself inside a world of silence. So what's your favorite TV show? He speaks to seven adults in his life. That's it, just seven adults. With everyone else, he won't talk. His parents were baffled. He hurt himself at camp this summer and he didn't tell anybody. I said, did you cry? He's like, no. I said, and I said, did you tell the counselors? He's like, no. Maya Walker is the same way. Watch, she doesn't move a muscle during her school's pageant. Maya's extreme social phobia made it impossible for her to blow out her own birthday candles. Happy birthday, Maya! Not talking to your peers, not talking to your teachers, just being, even for recess, being next to the teacher like this. She never played during she recess? Never, no. Never Her mom and stepdad say Maya didn't speak a word for the entire school year. They made this video just so the kids in her class could hear her voice. Do you talk a lot at home? Yeah, I talk a lot at home. Wave goodbye to your class, Maya. Bye-bye, class. I had to marry goodbye. Maya is an extreme example, but nearly all kids have fears of one kind or another. Doctors think that's because parents rescue their kids too soon from what they're afraid of, which only makes the fear grow. Dr. Stephen Kurtz of the Child Mind Institute believes he has an answer. Jake and Maya suffer from selective mutism. He says not only can he cure it, he can do it in just one week. His therapy is called Brave Buddies, which exposes them to the very thing they're afraid of speaking in public. What's the key to the week here? Repeated exposure to the same situations that they've been avoiding, like the plague, but providing kind of training wheels until they can do it confidently on their own. The grown-ups are taught to stop overprotecting them and simply wait five seconds before jumping in. Maya, what job would you like today? So on day one, rule number one, Maya is allowed to feel the painfully long silence long enough for her to answer. You're not sure, by time you're not sure. Please. Questions are designed to force verbal answers. They're offered a choice instead of nodding. Jake, what job would you like? Caboose or craft helper? Or something else? Caboose. Caboose. Ooh, great choice. Great choice. Jake's every mumble is praised. Soon, they're set out into the real world to interact with strangers. Hi. You're about to watch six-year-old Jake face oh, his closer. biggest fear. What's up, buddy? Where is the zoo? Where's the zoo? Our microphones can't even pick it up, but for Jake, it's a small miracle. Maybe you should get three stickers for how nice they are. The kids wrap up day one by cashing in stickers they earned at a prize store. But first, the kids need to engage another stranger. Me. Welcome to the Brave Buddies prize door. Jake is up first. Um, are you a guy who likes bubbles or something different? Again, barely audible, but his whisper might as well be a roar. Do you like painting projects or something different? Now it's Maya's turn. Despite her bravery, she suffers a setback when the anxiety overwhelms her and she has an accident. Yeah, I think she needs to go to the bathroom, that's fine. It's called Brave Buddies for a reason. After a quick change, she somehow musters the courage to try again. Do you want jewelry or something different? Something different. Okay, let's keep looking. The next day, Jake's still struggling with talking, and eye contact is still difficult. But then, he shocks everyone with a full sentence. No. Wow! Whoa! Happy birthday! And for the girl who's never blown out birthday candles before, this is a celebration seven years in the making. Yay! We show Maya's parents' video of a daughter they barely recognize. You can see it down You can see it down here. I'm so proud of her. It takes a lot of courage to um, 
if you would have seen where she was two years ago, definitely not the same child. <laughs> For Jake and Maya, the boot camp is over, but can they keep it going into the school year? The old, silent Jake still comes out at times. Are you making this an easy pattern or a hard pattern? But the new Jake perseveres. Easy or hard pattern, Jake? Hard. hard. Maya still has trouble joining the crowd at recess. But in class, her voice is finally being heard. Facing up to their fears allows them to unlock their voices and rescues their childhood. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.